Hi everyone, welcome to Friday. I can't believe we've made it. It has been such a long, long busy week, but you know what? We survived. I hope you survived as well. And uh, yeah, so it's time to have a little bit of dinner, a little bit of wine, and a little bit of chit chat with my favorite people in the whole wide world. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diary series featuring a bottle of Wink Wine from my 15th box of Wink. So excited, I'm still not sure what's going on with it, but we are just going to keep enjoying it until we can't anymore. So anyway, I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red bell over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today, again, we're, we're going to be doing a wink wine. I'm still not sure what's going on. I know that they did file uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy back in December 2022. Other than that, and that's what I've just heard from hearsay, um, from Gail, um, one of our subscribers, Gail McAfee, who heard that and saw it on another channel. So we are just kind of waiting and wondering what's going on. I have checked out a few others, but you do have to buy more wine. I'm, so anyway, I'm hoping that they work it out. If not, we will work on plan B. Plan Bs are always good. But just in case everything's back to normal and whatever, nothing's changing, I will have a link in my description below that's going to tell you a little bit more about Wink. Uh, it's going to have a link going to the website and I'll have a video up there as well that's going to be my first unboxing. And of course, I'll have my playlist at the end that's going to show all the different wines that I've tried from Wink Wine and maybe these crazy getups that I've worn from time to time. And yeah, so it's just been so much fun for me and I've had some really, really good luck. Of course, I, I know other people have said that the wine is not good from them or whatever, but I have not had any problems. Of course, I'm not a wine connoisseur. I'm a be beginner, so you know maybe that's the difference between me and some other people but anyway we're just going to get into this because it's a lot of fun for me and i'm so excited to be talking to you guys as well so anyway the wine we are having tonight is a red blend i have never had this one before from them it's called dime or Dimi. And it is the red blend called Santa Barbara from 2018. And out of the 7,135 people that have tasted this and rated it, they got a 4.3 out of 5. So I'm really excited to open it, check it out. The cork in here is black, so I don't know if it's just the outer edge right there or if it's black through and through so that's going to be something different we've also got a dinner tonight from uh kind of a meat that i got from target so anyway i'm just going to turn the uh, camera off while i open the wine so we don't have to listen to that noise and i'll be right back Alrighty, so I'm back we've got it open it was black through and through it's kind of like a plastic cork or something but anyway, it's a little bit different, but cork is a cork. Of course, of course. Uh, was that Mr. Ed? I don't know. I'm showing my age again. But anyway, so we've got this aerator in. And let's pour a little bit of wine into the glass. That yeah, should be enough. And we'll let it air out a little bit longer. Let's put this over here, even though it's going to... How about if we put it in the back? Because we don't want to cover up our sign. Alrighty. So anyway, it is a nice, deep, deep purple color. It is coating my glass a little bit. It tells me it does have a higher alcohol content. So it's kind of... And I, I don't remember exactly what it was. I printed my cheat sheet, so we'll look at it later. But I remember when I saw that they had recommended it had an ingredient in here that I thought was, I 
didn't think I liked before. Maybe it was rhubarb or something. I thought it was bitter, but it was in here again. But it had something else I can't remember. But as soon as I pulled my cheat sheet, cheat sheet out, it'll be struck a bell. But it was like just something so different. I just said, yeah, I have to try it. I have to try it. All righty. So we're just swirling this around. We're letting that breathe a little bit, getting the air in there, getting the fragrances all to kind of release and come up to the surface. And these kind of glasses just kind of help come it up like this. So anyway, I'm going to have a quick sniff and tell you what I think. I smell dark cherry right off the bat. Something. I can feel it in here, which is which is weird. Maybe maybe that's a mint or something when you feel something up here in your nose. Um, and something lighter, maybe strawberry, cherry, something minty, something up here that's different. Whoops, it goes my hat. So let me let me fix my hat. These Timo wigs are nice, but they're not always hat friendly because they're a lot more slipperier than regular hair. Alrighty, so I don't know what that is, but let's swirl it again. Take another sip. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Mm. It is different. It's got some heat. I can feel the heat as I'm swallowing it in here. I'm not going to say it's pepper, but there's definitely some heat. Um, it's got some nice soft tannins, I think. It's not really, didn't really dry out my mouth too mo much, but it's velvety soft. It's really, really smooth. There is something up here. I can't figure out what that is. I swallowed that way too fast. I have no idea why. But anyway, I'm going to have another kind of quick sip. See if I can taste anything different. can't figure it out. I know that other one that I had before that had the rhubarb in it. I thought it was bitter, but this isn't bitter at all. So that must not have been the rhubarb in the last one. Um, it is, it's nice and smooth. It's like a Merlot almost. Um, it's got a velvety kind of texture. There is something up here. I don't know what that is. There's some heat when you swallow it. It's got some nice soft tannins. So we will read the cheat sheets later. So let's get on to our dinner. So anyway, I saw this when I was doing my Target order this week. And it's by Tyson, which is kind of like a chicken place here in uh, Minnesota. They do a lot of the Tyson farms where back east we always had Purdue. But anyway, this so this is a cook in the bag. And it's a seasoned and marinated pulled pork boneless pork shoulder. So anyway, it came in a bag. It was already seasoned and marinated. And it, you could have just put that bag in the oven for maybe 90 minutes. May I forgot what it was. It's probably written right here. But anyway, I took it out and I wanted it in my crock pot. So I cooked it on low for maybe four hours and just taken a fork. It just kind of split it apart. I had some Four Brothers... Um, barbecue sauce. It was a honey barbecue sauce that I've had before from Coburn's, I think, sells that exclusively. So I had that in there too, cooking the whole time, and it really smells good. I bought some Hawaiian buns because they're, you know, this small and they're sweet. So I thought that would go good. And then just some cold slaw. So I've got my Hawaiian bun right here. I just got a couple of scoops of the, uh, the pork. And then some just Target brand coleslaw right there. So that's going to be my dinner tonight. And I just thought it would go really good. I'm just going to have a quick bite of the pork. Like I said, it just it just fell apart. It almost feels like a pot roast or something. But but it's going to have that barbecue and whatever it was marinating in. Alrighty, going to have a quick bite. And then maybe a sip of wine to wash it down. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. I'd love to hear what your dinner plans are tonight. What kind of you're having like takeout pizza or maybe just a fun local restaurant that you guys like to go to or some nice takeout or is it a big date night? Alrighty. Cheers. Mmm. That 
It's got some really, really nice flavor. It's got a smoky kind of texture. It's really, really nice. I'm going to have a quick sip. And then, I probably won't have you watch me talking and chewing at the same time. So, I'm going to have a quick sip and be right back. Mmm. That was delicious. I had, actually had a few more bites because I just could not stop eating. It was really, really good. I don't know if this is at every Target, but while I took my quick dinner break, um, I just went online to check it out. And again, this is Dyson. It was a cooking bag, boneless pork shoulder, and it was 24 ounces, 24 ounces, so like a pound and a half. And, um, it was $8.99. So this is really, really good. I mean, I'm going to get a few meals out of this this week but and lunches. But if you were doing like a potluck dinner, whether getting together with friends, your family, a barbecue outside, or maybe something that you do at work every now and then, everyone brings something in in a crock pot, that would be perfect. It's... um with some, some of those um, Hawaiian buns. So it'll go a lot further and it's just really, really tasty. It's really good. Plus with potluck, everybody brings inside. So it's just kind of like, it's fun. But that was really delicious. Also, while I was looking up the price on what this pork shoulder was, which I am definitely going to get again, um, I just kind of looked at my cheat sheets and I was surprised at what that thing is that I'm feeling up here. Alrighty. But anyway, I had to have a few more sips. It is, it is velvety smooth like a Merlot and this will explain it in a second as well. So anyway, again, this was, um, it's a 2018 it's called Dime, or maybe it's pronounced Dimmy, Red Blend Santa Barbara. Now, they have other red blends as well, but they're not named Santa Barbara, so that must just, just be a specific blend here. And uh, out of the 7,135 people that have tasted this and rated it, it's got a 4.3. I know I'm giving it a 5. It is that good. So it is velvety, red fruit, a crowd pleaser. It's got a full body. It says it's slightly sweet, and it's 13.6% alcohol. And this is the amazing part. Okay, tell me if you can tell from the tasting notes here what it is that I felt right here. So anyway, it's uh, tasting notes of dark cherry eucalyptus. Never had eucalyptus in a wine before. Rhubarb and strawberry. Like I said, that one of the last few wines that I had that had rhubarb in it, and I thought it was kind of bitter. I assumed it was a rhubarb. This has rhubarb in it, and it is not bitter at all. The eucalyptus, I'm not going to say you can taste eucalyptus, but I can feel something like right up here in my sinuses when I, I drink it, but it's just nice, smooth. It's a nice flavor. There's really no added taste that I can tell from it, but it's, oh my gosh, it's so good. So, oh, I'm supposed to, I'm, I want to sing this part because, wait a minute, I need another sip. Be right back. Okay, so this is part of their description. Are you ready for this? King of the hill, top of the heap, 10 out of 10, A number one, Frank Sinatra. And you know the funny thing about Frank Sinatra? My mother hated music. She loved Frank Sinatra. She could listen to him sing anytime, but not anybody else, unless it was kid songs. Alrighty, so Dime is a perfect 10. A blend of 65% Cabernet Sauvignon and 35% Merlot from the two of the most prime spots in the Santa Ynez Valley. This wine is sure to be a hit with just about everyone. Grapes were picked at optimal ripeness for fruit flavor and texture. And the juice was fermented in stainless steel for 14 months, aging 40% in new French oak. The resulting wine has soft tannins and with a lush, velvety texture. Fruity, boldy, and hearty, this is the perfect wine to enjoy with comfort food. It says how to serve it, room temperature. It says it pairs well with burgers, beef, lamb, chocolate cake. 
I need to get me some chocolate cake because more and more of these wines that I'm getting are saying that it's good to go with chocolate cake. But I don't want a big chocolate cake, so hopefully Target or somebody has something that I can just get a piece or two. So anyway, that is my wine diary for tonight. This wine, like I said, I am rating it a five. This is really, really good. I saw that they had some other uh, dime uh, red blends on their site. I don't know if they're going to be as good as this. Eucalyptus, I've never heard of eucalyptus in a wine, but again, I do not know too much about anything about when it comes to wine, but I know I could feel it up here in my sinuses, but I really can't taste anything different. Maybe that's what's given it the heat as you swallow it and you just kind of feel some kind of heat in here. But this is, it is lush, it's fruity, it is smooth, like a really good Merlot, and it's only 35% Merlot, but nice soft tannins. It's a really enjoyable wine. I am going to enjoy the rest of my sandwich. I may even go get seconds. I know, it's that good. I may just throw the coleslaw away and have, some, have another sandwich. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in and taking time to spend with me. It means so much to me and I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join our family. Your comments, of course, are always, always welcome. I love hearing from you and getting to know everybody in the comments. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and uh, everyone go out, go out. Have a great, great weekend. Have fun, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video.